looks like this week is off to a little bit of a shaky start. I mean, I was with a client pitch, potential client pitch, and I feel all the potential of the person becoming my client has actually almost disappeared because it's nothing like the pitch didn't go well, but you know that feeling you get after a crazy pitch that you know, like okay, this has been bang on. I just don't think I got that, and yeah. But luckily, I have a day ahead that's a little bit relaxing and filled with things that I actually enjoy. So, one of my client is doing a Harry Potter themed collab for their brand, and we've been assigned the role to come up with the ideas for teaser trailer and execute them. So that's what most of my day is going to look around. And luckily, today Soho is screening Harry Potter, so I'm going to finish most of my meetings from Soho, watch the screening, and hopefully come up with ideas that we can execute in the coming shoot. which do justice to the harry potter brand and bring out that magic in the teaser and trailer the idea for the trailer actually clicked to me in the first half itself and as the movie got over i sketched out the ideas in rough and enhanced it with the help of an ai tool got it to a storyboard and started finalizing it and literally just when i was about to wrap up everything i saw a message coming from the client the client whom we had actually pitched in the morning and turns out he actually liked us i mean i totally forgot the camera was rolling and all the emotions came flying in i immediately called the team and let them know about the same and turns out the day pretty much went better than what i had imagined it close the client logged the trailer idea pretty much have a good day it's 9 am and today is a little bit of a longer day we have two shoots at two different corners of mumbai both of my teams have already started their shoots there And today I'm just going there to help them execute some smaller parts and also meet the client and discuss the future strategy for the respective brands. I have convinced Anushka to make like spoil one of our dessert na. We also had this fun session with the founder of Masa Bakery, Anushka, to let an amateur make one of the desserts and try out a different approach for the social media strategy. And actually looked like a professional, trust me. I mean, <laughs> almost till this happened. He broke it. I'm, I have a, have a failed the test. Yeah. It's got a pretty good montage. We're done with the first stop of the day, and we're on our way to the second. Also, one advice I would like to give to all the young agency owners or any young entrepreneur who's starting up: maintain relations with your client, which go beyond the monetary level. Live their brand, understand their brand as deep as possible. Only when you create value to their brand, when you create a sense that you know what you contribute to the table is very unique. because when you deeply understand any brand when you deeply understand the client's requirements problems you can actually create a different and bring something on the table that provides value to the client and once that is built you can definitely retain clients for much much longer we are here at the second location and you guessed it it's exactly what we did the research for the other day is the harry potter this is completely opposite and contrast theme to what we shot at the bakery but you know what we are here for <laughs> Finally both the shoots are done. I am on my way to home but there's almost a 1 hour 15 minutes delay by traffic. Although things didn't go exactly as I had planned for them, especially on the second shoot, we were able to improvise on spot. Something actually I've learned over the period of time. practice is much important than planning because if there's something that you've done over and over and over again like for example this is almost my 300 shoot it becomes easier to a point like any problem that comes on the way you know particularly what solution you can take through it so they are selling about one so then why would if it's such a small market why We had thought it was horn but banana. Actually, finding my first office in Mumbai was not that difficult. Our budgets were very small, so whatever actually fit in the budget and the best out of those small bunches, that's what we went for. It's little bit different this time, although the budgets are little higher. Properties in Mumbai are ridiculously expensive. The one with properties in Mumbai are ridiculously expensive. The ones with the right view. I really the one thing that I'm looking for in my new office space 
is to have some natural light coming in because in our current office we literally have no windows we have no natural light coming in and i'm sure in the long run it's not that good for the health and that's why this is the first space that we're looking at and the one requirement that i've asked for is having some amount of natural light to come in it's almost 11:30 pm i haven't had my dinner yet but i'm on my home done with the most boring part of the week that's sitting with the ca filing the taxes but we also saw some good offices so maybe future home of adco is amongst the one that i saw today but the it's days like these where i feel like you know a little bit of reward needs to be given like you can make me shoot for 40 hours at a stretch and i won't complain but after a round of taxes accounting and sitting with the ca for almost 3 hours i've decided to give myself a little bit food cheat trick treat i learned this one thing in a book called atomic habits where in case you don't like to do anything or any particular thing that you feel lethargic but it's essential for you to get that thing done or keep doing it on a loop for either growing in your career or learning new skill or whatever it may be always combine it with something that's more rewarding to you because when you combine the experience of something that you don't like compete it with a reward it more often than not the chances of you coming back to it and the probability of you doing it again increases much much more it's kind of similar to when our parents took us to the barber shop when we were small kids and at the end of getting a haircut and if we didn't cry we always got something like an ice cream or a chocolate that's exactly what this is you're bribing your brain essentially to do things that you don't like combining them with a reward and ultimately making that experience much much better as it would have turned out that's what i do whenever i'm doing something more corporate more things that does not use the artistic side of my brain i just combine it with something that's a little bit more rewarding that's a pizza never hurts it's friday morning and i've just pulled an all nighter to finish the editing of this video and because that's the reason you're seeing it on friday now i'm just finishing my packing as tomorrow i'm heading to an international location so expect so expect few regular comprehensive and fun travel vlogs coming to your way very soon